Recently I've been to Bonito, a city named after the beauty of its natural wonders. Its clear rivers, numerous waterfalls, and majestic lakes with tiny fish that bite you in the face. Bonito is considered by many the Brazilian capital of ecotourism. Having had a boom of tourists in the 90s, the city created its own way of doing environmentally sustainable travel, which prevents attractions from being overbooked and ecosystems from suffering too much stress. Tourists are also taught to behave. Every time you go on a tour, you are alerted of things you should and shouldn't do for conservation's sake. Don't use sunscreen when entering the rivers. Don't paddle your feet to not scare the fish. And be respectful of the many, many, many animals you see. Bonito is part of a savanna-like eco-region called Cerrado, an environment that possesses 33% of Brazil's biodiversity. This ecosystem is recognized as the most biodiverse savanna in the world. But nowadays, Cerrado has been reduced by over 50% of its original land. It's the second most torn ecosystem in the country after the Atlantic Forest. If deforestation continues as is, scientists believe it may disappear in the next 15 years. The main cause of deforestation? The huge soybean plantations that can be found all around Brazil's Midwest states. There's big money to be made from soybeans, and Brazil is the world's second biggest producer, making nearly 100,000 tons of the grain a year. But why does the world need this much soy? Well, 79% of the world production of it is made into animal feed for poultry, pork, farmed fish, and cows. Though soy plantations are less visible from the road, cows are pretty much all you see when traveling between attractions in Bonito. You see black cows, white cows, black and white cows, cows with a thing in the back, you get the picture. Brazil has a lot of cows. No wonder it's the world's biggest beef exporter. And our milkshake and barbecue producing friends are the second cause of destruction of Brazil's Cerrado. Bonito is an oasis on a region where cattle raising and soy plantations are king. A little town that found a way to make money and promote conservation. Agribusiness generates more money for the city, but its travel industry employs more people. It generates less money, but the income is distributed to a far larger number of hands. I remember studying as a kid about Cerrado and thinking of it as the ugly duckling of Brazilian ecosystems. But Bonito shows us that Cerrado's underrated natural beauty can make a difference in the lives of locals, and that if well explored, this ecosystem can be worth more alive than dead.